When we travel, then you know we're gonna be We're gonna be the dudes who travel just for you And when we're filming, then you know we're gonna be We're gonna be the dudes who are filming just for you If we're drinking, well you know we're gonna be We're gonna be the dudes who get drunk just for you And when we upload, when we upload on the vlog We fucking love it and you hope you like it too now you subscribe 500 times Now we just need 500 more Just to be the channel that a thousand whiskey nights be waiting for Please subscribe to our channel And make sure that you have clicked the little bell Please subscribe to our channel And make sure that you have clicked the little bell Five hundred thanks, a five hundred thanks. Actually, a five hundred and forty thanks, because we took those five hundred subscribers in a flyby. Thank you guys and welcome to our YouTube channel, the Whiskey Travel and Tales Manufactory. The second hard lockdown in Austria shattered all of our intentions to film anything whiskey adjacent. And so Mr. Smith and I subscluded ourselves into his moral insanity studios. Because after all, we do live in Austria, and so we indulged into the sweet sound of music. Three, two, one, let's do that. What's in the glass? Uh, Glencairn engravement. True that. Fun fact, did you know that the uh, Glencairn glass for Canadian whiskey looks differently than the one for Scotch whiskey? And as the legend goes, the glass for the first Glencairn glass originated from a strike of lightning into the sands of a nearby beach. I mean, it would be possible, it's a legend after all, and uh, high voltage and the sands. Luckily enough, I do have a little whiskey glasses 101 prepared for you guys. And while you watch that, Mr. Smith and I keep on indulging. Cheers! Cheers. The desire to have a dedicated glass for each and every kind of beverage originates back to the 19th century. Now if one so wishes, you could separate whiskey glasses into three different categories. Tumblers, the Glencairn glass and nosing glasses. I want to start with the mother of all whiskey glasses, the Glencairn glass. In 1982, Raymond Davidson founds the Glencairn Crystal Limited. To work on the first drafts of the distinguished shape we became so used to nowadays. Inspired by the Cupita, a sherry nosing glass, in the year 2000, Davidson's son finished what he had started and brought industry leaders, allied distillers, Diageo, Erdington Group, White and McKay, and William Grant and Sons on board for some fine tuning. The glass launched at the 2001 Whiskey Life Convention to start its international success and even the Queen herself awarded the Glencairn glass various times. The Glencairn is tulip shaped and supposed to be filled until its widest spot. The now ascending molecules are being compressed due to the restriction and therefore get easier to taste. The glass stand is conical, making it very stable and robust, and therefore perfect for bars or for being engraved with a brand and sold by the distillery. The glass exists in pretty much every imaginable size. For example, this shot glass is exactly the same, only half its original dimensions. Those things are almost unbreakable, and so excellently qualify for being used after the obligatory main tour. 
That one is the other extreme, a beautiful balloon glass providing a huge surface to the whiskey. And that helps especially with lower alcoholic strength to tickle out one or the other final tasting note. On higher proof whiskies that may backfire and punch you insistently on the nose. And darkened glass may be inconvenient when attempting to draw conclusions by the color of the spirit. But hand on heart, we all love to swirl it once in a while, only to watch the legs appear on the glass and pursue our thoughts for a while. And for that, a glass like this is just perfect. Moving on to the nosing glass, which distinguishes itself mostly by its thin and long leg. Professional ones also do have all kinds of marks engraved. This lag has various advantages. First of all, you do not constantly warm up your whiskey with your hand. And secondly, it's way easier to spin your glass, so you don't have to shake and swirl, which can damage the surface tension. With a slow spin, the glass can be moistened evenly, which allows conclusions to be drawn to its age or strength. Me, personally, I cannot do that. And I just read it off the bottle while I do swirl my whiskey. I like a good swirl once in a while. As a result, a glass like that is way more fragile and due to its higher center of gravity, it's not a good fit in bars. It probably is way more a tool to take apart a whiskey. But even if you're just having fun, it works like a charm too. And last but not least, the tumbler. Well known from various Hollywood blockbusters where ice cubes are shimmering in the glints of a firelight. To say this clearly, for having fun there's nothing wrong with it, nothing. A knob creek on ice at a barbecue? Bring it. Other than that, those beautifully engraved works of art come in handy on a table for holding water and droppers for diluting the spirit. The Corona lockdown also vaporized our annual snowflake vlog, as well as my 50th birthday anniversary celebration inside the Enjoyment Academy in form of a whiskey tasting with lots of my buddies from all over the world that I invited. Thank you, Corona. Well, there will be nothing much to do on the 30th of December, my birthday, so I'll do what I enjoy most, having a whiskey with my bro, Mr. Smith. We'll also have a camera. We're not live streaming, but we'll record. Because I want to share half a century of whiskey wisdom with you guys. So if there are any questions, if there's anything in the back of your mind that you always wanted to know, please ask us down below in the comments. We'll answer those questions on my birthday on that day. Those can be questions from, I don't know, how much are two thirds of three quarters? to if Mr. Smith's ancestors two generations ago still were Vikings. Well, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hopefully a better 2021 than 2020 was. So where we can travel again and bring you more A-roll, B-roll and rock and roll. Cheers, stay healthy. Before I forget, I have a couple of really awesome pictures that I took while I was on the road with my filmmobile that you can watch while we will indulge in all those glasses. Cheers.
This channel is a sheer passion project and we hope to share it with everyone who's interested. So in case you know someone who would enjoy our content, please recommend us. For hardcore fans and newbies who want to binge watch all our videos chronologically, here's the playlist Vlogs in English. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified if there's a new video. It's all free and you really do help us to be found easier. Thank you and Slungy.